Hey, Rob Brinded from Masterless.life. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the three disconnects that will be affecting you. Uh, you get these reconnected, your life will be extremely special. It'll put you in the you know 0.01% of the world's population. So if that sounds interesting, you got to definitely watch this video. Okay, so this morning I was doing a webinar, uh, a lecture on these three disconnects. And uh, I'm gonna explain what they are, but why I'm gonna start off with the, the most important disconnect, okay? So this um, may seem strange, but when, when you were born, and you might think, oh, I had a really great childhood, and that's great, and it's possible you didn't experience a disconnect. But if you are born and your parents are busy, and like most people in the world, they're caught in their minds and their worries and their fears and everything, and they don't, uh, are not able to offer you an absolutely secure connection, uh, an attachment where the, you as a baby feels completely secure, completely loved and belonging. It's extremely difficult. I, I don't know. I'm, I didn't, um, I didn't experience that. And it's no fault to my parents. It's, uh, no one does because everyone's conditioned this way, especially in the West to, um, you know, just be caught up with work and, uh, school and the communities are not secured as they maybe are, let's say, in a rainforest where there's a, a, a tribe that lives completely together and they're not trying to achieve loads of things and um, get on the hamster wheel of life. So when that uh, disconnect happens, which is either a one or a zero, you either feel completely switched on secure or you don't, you s then start to look for the connection. So this starts very early. And what I experience with most, well, all of my clients is they, they jump onto a hamster wheel to number one is to gain, gain the love, gain the belonging. And they do that via recognition, love, belonging, um, achievement. So fundamentally, they're looking to experience, to be valued, excuse me, because if when they were a child, they, there was a disconnect, the disconnect is perceived that they're not worthy of the connection. So a child's brain can't understand the complexity of life. So it's one and a zero, so they're abandoned. And so that's the first trauma. And so they jump on the hamster wheel looking to be valued because they are worthless. And I see it in, you know, everyone. And I also see it in very famous people. They have this same behavior, driven behavior inside. So uh, something cool that I realized today on the call with my students was that I always do a little circle and a big circle. So the little circles, almost like your inner child or the little you that experienced that initial disconnect. And then I draw the big circle, which is the behavior that you get on. So when I, I've worked with a billionaire who was trying to gain um, belonging, love and recognition by becoming extremely valuable, he, he gained externally, but inside he felt poor and uh, he, he had no value for himself. Yeah, so this can uh, represent, can present itself in many different forms. But what I realize is that from that initial trauma, there's a projection. So it's like a project, projector. So the information is then projected on every aspect of your life and it can be perceived in your understanding, um, you know, in, in your, the way you relate to others or to relate to things. This will show itself. I, if you um, if you want to know more about this, you book a session with me. I can show you your main behavior in one session, and then you can go away and work on it and free yourself. Because make no mistake, this is a prison, and there's no way out of it. You will never find value in this in this mind in the mind system. You will only experience loss and worthlessness, and so you'll be always trying to gain and be able and show how able you are, but you'll always experience the opposite. 
I'll show you how to get off that. So let, let's just go to the three now. So as a triad, so the first one I'm talking about is decentralized mind. So when you understand and, and um, you know the the great Buddha, Krishnamurti, more you know Gabba Mate, um, you know you name it, anyone who kind of understands the first principles inside the mind is that you can't change the system from within the system. So you need to decentralize your mind, as in observe your own behavior, which is the highest form of intelligence. So that's decentralized mind. The other thing that's super important is decentralized health. And someone like Dr. Jack Cruz is, is the man in that area. So it's to do with your environment, understanding that the body is frequencies and light. <clears throat> you know, he, he brings everything together, physics, biology, chemistry, and he shows through, through research that, you know, we can produce our own light inside of us. Um, the the um, mitochondria of the body uh, are, are batteries. And so we need to be very uh, acutely aware of our environment. So getting enough sunlight, uh, which is the most uh, wonderful source of health. Um, and unfortunately, we have experts and medicine who are saying it's toxic. So it seems like everything that experts say is that you just do the opposite, right? Um, uh, animal fat and animal protein is, is toxic for the body. Um, no, actually, that's the most health-giving food in the world. And so it seems, I think, just through incompetence and through the, the narrow the narrow reductionist model that they go through is they just get everything wrong. Central, when everything's centralized, centralized planning, centralized institutes, they just get everything wrong. So decentralized health, I definitely, uh, you should definitely check out um, Dr. Jack Cruz's work. Um, and, and so the environment affects the mind. In my opinion, the, the most important base it, the, the most important level is, it goes like this. For me, um, the environment, the light, um, getting your feet touching the floor, uh, magnetism from the ground, uh, food, um, increasing electrons, is super important, but this D-mind, the way you perceive reality is so damaging. If it's flawed or, or glitchy, like everyone's is, then you're gonna have lots of ones and zero, lots of weak energy in the body. This ties with decentralized health, with meridians, when the Chinese understood thousands of years ago that when you're uh, not perceiving life accurately and you're suffering, having uh, negative emotions, they block the energy pathways in the body. So they knew that a couple of thousand years ago. Uh, now they're starting to understand through uh, Douglas Wallace, the um, top researcher in the world in mitochondrial uh, science. You can check him out on YouTube. He's now opened up a clinic in China because he thinks that mitochondria systems are, are the, um, the meridians of the body. So it's just our, you know, this the Western's uh, ego and intellect thinking that they understand everything. And then oh, it just so happens the Chinese worked this out uh, a couple of mill millennia ago. So. For me, if we can look at the D-mind, this feeds up into the body. And then the top part is like exercise, um, you know, supplements, food, uh, water, etc. supplements. But ones and zeros is uh, the energy, so meridians, and this, this is getting blocked from below. But also, you know, if you're in the wrong light environment and you're on the computer all day, that can come in and damage externally. The, um, you know the ba the battery of the body, so we have D mind D health D health super super fascinating. Uh, I recommend um, Huberman and Cruz's podcast on Rick Rubin's podcast about four hours. It's just fascinating. It's, it's the future of medicine, decentralized decentralized health, decentralized medicine, and then lastly. Uh, decentralized money. 
We need decentralized money. We need to separate the state from the centralized state, putting its fingers in the money. The money needs to be mined less because whenever the centralized control starts to tamper and distort the money supply as it's doing, printing enormous amounts of money and, um, you know, it's like too much sugar in the blood. We've got like diabetes of the monetary system. What happens is the, the people inside the system, which is everyone in the monetary system, um, well, there are people who are outside the system who can't access it, which is in, uh, you know, there, there's billions of people out of a bank account. Um, and then the people in the system, the, the money and assets that they want are inflating faster, way faster than the jobs that they can earn. So pe the, the incentives are broken and everything is being distorted by the distortion of the, the ground level money, money. And so when we have decentralized money, which is Bitcoin, nothing else, there's only one decentralized money. Uh, and we know the truth is that we can see this ledger, which no one can tamper with, no mind. So we, we have a disconnect from our money and we need to reconnect to uh, uh, the hardest money it ever invented, Bitcoin. So we just put a, um, you know, Bitcoins there. So we have a, a disconnect with our health, just coming back to that, with medicine now, the incentives are monetizing the illness. So the more sick people, the more money, the, the entity that controls medicine for the big pharma, that's where they make their money. So they're not incentivized to look at anything that doesn't make them money. And it's the things that don't make them money that are gonna heal us. So there's a disconnect with health. The med medical system's dis disconnected. So we need to reconnect with mother nature and decentralized medicine. And Jack, check out Jack Cruz for that. Um, and remember, the thing I love about this is D-Mind, you can do it yourself, self-authority. Decentralized health, you can do it yourself. You're your own authority. Bitcoin, decentralized money, you're your own authority. You, you, uh, you're your own authority. You, it's yours, it's no one else's, it's your own property. So there's a, a connection that we're moving towards in both uh, understanding our minds, understanding the health of the body, and understanding um, the, the system that everything is based upon. And when we can reconnect those three, that's, and through truth, we're gonna feel um, our health will soar. We will remove all dis-ease in the body, disease, dis-ease coming from decentralized mind, from not connecting fully with nature. And then when we have a reconnection to hard money, sound money, this triad effect is going to transform humanity, in my opinion. Well, it's not going to happen overnight, but it can happen overnight if you start studying and reconnecting to these three things. Um, and lastly, if you're a parent, the greatest thing you can do for your children is reconnect yourself, reconnect to your inner child and the trauma that you experience, reconnect and understand, uh, which is understanding is truth, is understanding your behavior, understanding your health and understanding money. When you understand and reconnect to yourself and that inner child, your children will transform and the viruses, distortion viruses that get passed down through the generations can be healed. So the ultimate healing triad. Any comments, love to hear them below. I really appreciate that. And if you'd like to know more about my work, I'm at masterless.life or subscribe to my channel. You get my videos when they come up. Thanks so much, everyone. and Have a great day.